I want to show you an example of some of the flaws in voting methods. And in this particular example, uh, we're going to ask two separate questions, one of which you can see already right here. Uh, but before I do, let me set up the scenario that's going on. Uh, we have uh, a school board that is hiring a new principal, and there are four finalists for the job. Alan, Betty, Cindy, and Dennis. And so we're just going to use A, B, C, and D. And we can see that uh, there are a total of 14 members on this board. And so um, they, they all put in their choices, their first and second and third and fourth choice. And this is the way it came out. So the first question we're going to be asked is, which candidate is declared the new principal if we use the board account method? Now I'm not going to show you how to do the board account method. That's a separate video. But let me show you the outcome of the board account method. So using the board account method, you can see that Betty is clearly the winner here at 48. Um, you know, this is the board account method is kind of a weighted method. So as far as the weights are concerned, she had the largest number of points, which is 48 more than anybody else. So Betty here is the winner using the board account method. All right, so the second question we're going to ask then in this case is, does the board account method, where Betty was the declared winner, does this method satisfy the majority criterion? Well, remember, the majority means a majority is more than half, right? And since our total was 14, then the majority would be not 7, so don't cut it in half, but rather it's uh, 1 plus that. So we're going to say the majority in this case is going to be 8. So we're looking for 8 or more of the first place votes would be a, uh, a satisfaction of the majority criterion. As we look at these first place votes, here they are right here, you can see that Betty is certainly a contender. In fact, um, of the first place votes here, it's really just between A and B. Uh, Cindy doesn't have any first place votes and neither does Dennis. So it really comes down to Alan and Betty, A and B. So A has a total of eight first place votes, right? That's this six right here added to this two right there. So Alan has a total of eight. But Betty only has a total of 6. That's this 4 plus 2. So in this particular case, um, the majority, since we are looking for a majority of 8, certainly satisfies that here for Alan, but it doesn't for Betty. So the majority criterion would be that, hey, the, whoever had the majority of the first place votes, Alan, would also work for the board account method. But since these don't match up, right, Betty for board account is not the same a winner for majority criterion, then we can simply say that no, the board account method does not satisfy the majority criterion. All right. If it was reversed, if Betty had eight first place votes and Alan only had six, then Betty would have satisfied the majority criterion as well as with the board account method. But since there are two different answers here, Betty and Alan, then the board account method does not satisfy the majority criterion.